Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make glass real quick and real easy in your game. Don't forget, click subscribe and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything about game development on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So creating glass is actually easier than what you would think, uh, and it's basically all down to the material. So if we have, I don't know, this scene here, it's a nice crypt uh, scene from the asset store. Uh, and I'm just going to add in a plane. So 3D object and plane. So I'm going to bring this into a position that we can see it. So let's have this section glass here. So let's rotate on the X and have it stood up just to see if it's OK in the camera. It is probably make it just a little bit smaller just so we can fit it in and be able to see it. Let's bring it forward, bring it up to about there. That should work. So to make this glass, we need to create a new material. So right click, create, and go down to uh, material right there. Call this whatever you want. So glass matte, for example. And make sure you set it to white if it isn't already. And set the rendering mode to fade. Now what that will do is it will allow us to have a translucency to whatever object it is attached to as opposed to being opaque or completely transparent. So we need to have it set as fade. Next thing to do, drag and drop that glass mat onto your plane or whatever object you want to be glass. And now all we need to do is play around with the alpha settings and we can change it to let's say probably about there maybe. And in all fairness, that may do as glass because we can kind of see through it, but it doesn't quite have that representation that you would expect of glass. It's all about playing around with the settings that you need to now. So you can take uh, emission if you want to. It's not really going to do too much, but sometimes I always find that having your emission on can have a little bit more of a better impact. The next thing you might want to do is change it from metallic to albedo. And you can already see that it has got a bit of a gloss to it by changing it to albedo. If you change the metallic, you will also see that this gloss becomes much more apparent. And if we reduce the smoothness just a little bit, we can see it becomes much more glass-like, as we can see. So it is really all about playing around with these settings to get to exactly how you would expect glass to look. So we can play around with the metallic, play around with the smoothness and to about there, we can see that is behaving a little bit more like glass now. So depending on how uh, translucent you want your glass to be, whether it's frosted glass or completely see-through glass, you'll have that effect. So if I just kind of rotate, you can see how the uh, effect of the glass is actually working in the scene view. Obviously, we can do that as well. So it behaves a lot more like glass. And obviously with a plane, it's, it's not textured the other side, so just be mindful of that. But there we go. A nice, glossy glass pane for your scene. So guys, I hope that's helped. If you want it to be breakable, um, you would have to have an actual object which is split into those pieces. You can't theoretically break a, an object like this, like we can't shatter this game object. You would have to have a pre-shattered uh, object of glass and apply that material to it. Like I said, it's all in the material, so it doesn't really matter what object you apply it to. If you play around with the material enough to uh, get the glass setting, you can apply it to anything and you can go from there. So guys, thank you very much for watching.